click on health. Bob, it's hard to remember the last time we had this kind of stretch of windy weather with uh, such repercussions. Well, yeah, we uh, I remember several years ago we had a spring that was relatively dry and we had several days of uh, really bad fires, but it has been several years since it's been this bad and it may get really bad again during the day tomorrow. As I mentioned earlier, about 12 fires burning across the state, and today was the day for the firefighters to try and get an upper hand on a lot of them because if they did not, uh, and I know just about 10% of the one out in Palo Pinto County is contained, tomorrow is going to be a real bad situation, but it'll be a different situation. Yesterday, if you remember, those fires were uh, the ones that developed were pushing off to the south and southeast because we had extremely strong 50 mile per hour northwest winds, but tomorrow they're going to be out of the south. So the fires may start to creep northward during the day. What a beautiful day today, though. Very little wind, bright sunny skies. We've been in the mid 70s, very dry, which is nice as far as it feeling nice, but it's not nice when it comes to drying out the vegetation out there. Here are the clear skies, a little patch of cloud cover coming across Oklahoma. The storm system is gone, and luckily even the severe weather now along the East Coast is beginning to diminish, but the damage has been done with uh, all the fatalities. This was by far the worst storm to move across the nation uh, so far this spring. Here are the current readings. Look how pretty it is. Middle 70s, lower 70s to the north and east. Temperatures approaching 80 to the south and southwest. Here are those dew points, though. A very low 10 in Gainesville, lower 20s and middle 20s elsewhere. 14 is the dew point in uh, Abilene, but the winds very light to calm here. But notice out to the west, it's blowing at 16 miles per hour already in Amarillo. And tomorrow, they're going to be blowing a lot harder than that. So the uh, fire weather watch has been put into effect here. And a red flag warning out to the west and southwest. These will probably be upgraded during the day tomorrow. Now take a look at the wind forecast for the same area. The smaller the arrows and the lighter the color, less the wind. Longer arrows, stronger winds, and I also color coded them as well. So watch what happens to these stronger wind speeds as we head through time. They start moving to the east and look at the direction tomorrow out of the south, and they're going to be gusting to 40 miles per hour from Wichita Falls to Abilene, probably past 30 miles per hour here. But fires will not be spreading southward. They'll be spreading northward during the day. 74 and 50 are high and low. So the southeast winds in the next few hours will become southerly overnight tonight. It'll become windy. It'll be warmer tomorrow, probably reaching the lower 80s. Then by the time we get into Monday, another dry line approaches, and we could be looking at thunderstorms developing to our east and northeast during the day. We'll take another look at that tomorrow. A windy day tomorrow with highs in the lower 80s. Clear skies near 50 tonight. A nice night for tomorrow. The wind returns once again despite sunny skies. 80 to 85, about 83 with the wind blowing pretty hard, 15 to 30. Monday into Tuesday, we'll have to look out for the potential for some thunderstorms. And then we get humid with temperatures near 90 and then another cool front late in the week. We'll drop temperatures next week.